in April, I did a race at Kingston, and they were just, I was number one in the UK in the two thirty eight category, which is like the Miles Sound Baldy class. And I was just like, what? Like, this is mad, <laughs> you know? Olivia Breen, or Livy, is a Welsh Paralympic athlete who competes in the T38 sprint and long jump events. She's also a two-time Paralympian and Commonwealth gold medalist. Olivia recently posted a video on Instagram about the importance of having inclusive masks so deaf people will be able to lip read. And the video received a huge amount of support by a lot of people. You know, how important is it to have inclusive masks? It really means a lot. Obviously, with the whole mask situation, being deaf, it's impossible, you know, like, it's been really hard for me. Like, I had to say to people, please can you step back and take your mask off because I'm deaf. I can't, I can't lip read you. But um, it's impossible for deaf people, literally. Were you nervous to upload the video? Not at all, because, like, I was just like, it is, it's got, you know, whatever happened, happened. You know, like, it's a big awareness thing, and, like, it's good for, you know, other deaf people, you know, for me to speak out. And obviously, I've had, lot, I've had lots of comments from deaf people, you know, messaging me, like, thank you so much for doing that. And I was like, it's fine. Like, I completely understand where you're coming from because it's good to get a voice out and just completely explain how, it, you know, how it feels to be deaf kind of thing, you know, because no one really understands what it's like. The support and, like, the encouragement, people, like, sharing on Instagram, retweeting it. You know, it was really, it really meant a lot to me. And it was like, that's, it, really, it was really nice to see that people could understand where I'm coming from. And those people were saying to me, like, where do we get the mask from and stuff? And it's just, it's really nice to get the awareness out there as much as possible. And it really, it's really nice that athletes are really supporting it, definitely. So now I just kind of want to get to know you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how did you first get into athletics? So I always loved running when I was a little girl. Like my dad's obviously a sprinter as well, so that's in the genes. And um, when I was little, I ran everywhere. I didn't, I didn't walk. I just just ran. And then um, I joined the City of Portland Athletics Club when I was thirteen. You know, just loved it, dripping with my friends and being sociable. And then my parents were like, "Oh, Olivia, just try and get into disability athletics." And I was just like, "But I don't see myself as disabled. Like, because they've always treated me like the same as my brothers. I've got a twin brother as well. So like." It's how being in a in body environment kind of thing. But um, I was just like, yeah, let's try it. You know, you never know where you can get, you know, where it takes you. And then when I was 15, I went to an England Athletic Talent Day. And um, I just, I saw someone myself reporting. I was like, oh my God, like, people have the same disability as me. This is so cool. Like, I've never been like, aware of it, you know? And then um, since then, I got classified as disabled athlete and I loved it since then. And then didn't really know where my life was going. And like, and I got classified in January and in April I did a race at Kingston and they were just, I was number one in the UK in the 238 category, which is like the Miles Sound Baldy class. And I was just like, what? Like, this is mad, <laughs> you know? And then, um, yeah, and then Wish that had got in touch with me and they said we wanted to come to, to come and get like international classified. And I was just like, okay, like, this is crazy, like, you know? And then I went to the Europeans in um, June, like later on that month, and then obviously 2012 was happening. And then I got selected for 2012. Incredibly, but amazing, really exciting. Wow. So how old were you when you got selected for 2012? 16. That is amazing to literally represent your country at the biggest stage at the age of 16. Yeah, what literally. was that like? It was uh, incredible. <laughs> 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 So, do you prefer sprinting or jumping? Like, because obviously, I assume you started off as a sprinter, then slowly ended up in the sand. Like, how did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> um, I like them both equally, I think. But obviously, when I was younger, I ran everywhere and running comes easily. But jumping is definitely more technical. <laughs> But I like the technical side, obviously, you know. <laughs> so in 2018, you became the Commonwealth gold medalist. How did that go? Oh, the Commonwealth Games was a complete, you know, um, a wow game. <laughs> um, obviously in Australia as well, it was really nice. And obviously my mum's Welsh, she like, competed for Wales. So that was really nice. And um, it was just an incredible experience. Like um, the year in Rio, I came 12 from the long jump and then I moved to Aston in 2017, end of 2016. And then I became like world champion as well, like 2017 and, you know, it was like, you know, didn't know what was gonna happen in the Commonwealth game. And then I became Commonwealth champion. So it was really exciting. The crowd was amazing. The, it was just really supportive. And like, they, when I, I don't like the clapping, obviously I don't know you're the same, but um, I was like telling everyone to be quiet and luckily they did. <laughs> but yeah, it was an incredible experience. 
probably the best games I've been to. Yeah. yeah. I, I really respect Aston Moore and he often gives me like little pieces of advice which always help. Has he ever gave you a piece of advice which has helped you a lot? So basically what he does on competition days, he's very calm and like he's very soothing and um it's in, it's in a really nice way to be, you know, in competition because obviously you just don't know how you're gonna obviously you're nervous and stuff and he just says to me like Liv, just go and effing do it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay coach <laughs> And what are your hopes for the future? Obviously it's been locked down and you know, <laughs> pandemic. So the year has been kind of put on halt, but what are your hopes looking ahead? Um, obviously, Tokyo, um, I would love to get my own individual talent medal, so that's true, that would be my future hope. And obviously, inspire the next generation and try and get people, as many people into sport, and just say what a different dimension of life. And now a question that's a little bit different now. I know, <laughs> <love that question. laughs> I know that your partner, I think you've been together, is it five years? Yeah. Yeah, and he's Nigerian, and uh, my dad's Nigerian, so I really love Nigerian culture. What is your favourite Nigerian food? <laughs> I love jollof rice. I, I tried quite a few, and like, it's my favourite, definitely. Like, it's nice to like mix up the culture. Like, it's just nice to like see the difference. You know, obviously, it's de very different food to British food, but it's really yummy. Yeah. I saw on Instagram you posted a picture and you had like the Nigerian gele like on your head. What was that experience like wearing traditional Nigerian clothes? Did you like it? Yeah, it was it was amazing. It was just really nice to be part of something different. It was an experience. Obviously, it's quite tight in your head, you know. But it was a really good experience and part of the and going to church and stuff because my family is a Catholic and it's quite a different church experience. That like everyone's clapping and singing, yeah. and they're happy and dancing. It was really nice to be part of that, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Olivia okay. Pete. It's been so fun chatting to you, and I really want to chat to you again. Like, I feel like I could just keep going for it. Bye. Happy to meet you. Thank you too. <laughs>